I guess we could like see if we can find those big renegade parties as well. Grab some more experience for the troops. Easy peasy. Until we get declared war on, because we probably are. Yeah, there we go. Grab both of them. That would be sweet. There we go. We were at... I was about to say we were at the river. On the side of a mountain. I guess it works. far away Spear, so that's not the best of ideas. Now, funnily enough, if I did all to resolve this, we would probably lose a couple of troops, which is beyond me. Now, I'll grab all the loot for myself so I can actually, like, put it into experience for the troops. Well, we didn't... Most of our troops are still higher level. More or less. Yeah, these are pretty much higher levels. We don't have any. We don't have that many shitty troops on us. I need to remember to make a couple more berserkers as well. Seem to forget that. Now, let's see. I don't want a war with the Kuzites or the Western Empire or the Batanians. I don't want a war. I guess the game forces you to, like, not go to war until the non aggression pact passes. I guess that's why I can, like, press the button. And 91 days remaining. 
Good, that's gonna be quite a while, to be honest. I'm gonna let my guys recruit a little bit more, then we're gonna clear over the war in the battalions so we can clean up this mess a little bit. Maybe I'll take Marmonath for myself. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna take that. Hmm. I'm just gonna take that for myself because I'm gonna be taking Wercheg and what Revel, whatever that one is pronounced, however it's pronounced. Why is this a thing? You can zoom in more with your throwing weapons. Really? We security your govern times and settlements by one. Throwing weapons deal 50% more damage to enemies when less than with less than 50 HP points left. Increase the morale of your party at the start of the battle. Sure that one. Some of these are just so freaking useless, man. Then again, you can't have them all be good, right? That would make a game too easy, I guess. Or too unrealistic, better said. Thanks, Siren. Hopefully the war with the Batania is not going to go too badly. Although I won't be surprised. Now just for science, let's see. Okay, Krieger. Okay, that I'm not pissed off about. By the high, but the highest tier infantry died. Really? Makes sense. Thanks for the follow, Stelnik. Yeah, we can have all many more prisoners. We don't need a couple more berserkers, though. The amount of food we have, we can fill the, uh, fill the entire world with us. Okay, now let's get back up there and grab a couple more troops somewhere. Let's see. What the fuck is this guy getting wrecked? Or by what? Be the question. I Meaning, gave him a castle. Surely he has a place to hide, at least. Wait, where's the other one? Right there. She doesn't have a lot of troops. I mean, they usually could have like 150 troops on them. I don't know what's their problem now. Yeah, I'm gonna get, grab uh, more fions. So we need to go over here. Maybe that guy actually just ran into right because they're not actually following my orders. They're just running into the enemies and fighting them. Alright, we have 500, so... Uh, what was... Let me check. Cost zero. A Lucian. Let's give him a castle. Which one, though? 
Uh, let's we'll give him this one. Okay, there he is. Okay, that's one. I got no like uh, ideas for clan names for them. We used them all up in the last one, in the last playthrough. Or should we go with uh, followers, right? Dude. I wish their names actually changed as well. With that, like, if they, like, lost the... Like, Lucian on the whatever the hell that is. Now we need to grab a couple more troops somewhere. Let's see. You know, right, we can't tr take troops from there anymore. I guess I'll... Well, actually, I don't need to deplete my party. I can just uh, create a new one with uh, not that many troops on it. Was it this guy? You should actually, yes. And this one? I guess I'll give him a couple of battalion fions, why not? Let's give him a couple of Valkyries. Why, right, Berserkers? And like some of these. That should be enough to stay alive. He's a pretty fucking tall motherfucker for an archer. Okay, now. New assignment. Realm the lands. Don't not bother with anything. We need them to have a lot of troops so we can actually, you know, fight the enemies. But still, even with the mod that makes them, like, go by player, they will still have a bunch of troops on them. Oh, no. oh god. I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense. We do border them. Kind of. What we take. I guess we. Eh, where the hell is the army that was about, anyway? Oh, you're there and you're the. Oh, God. Well, I don't give a fuck. It's not my territory, to be honest. Do need to pick up some Nordic recruits that are not the Valkyries, though. Guess let's go this way and recruit some. Probably not going to be a lot of uh, lords coming this way to recruit. Why do the, these mercenaries have so, so many big armies or parties roaming around? Oh, these are seriously low level. Okay, now let's go to the settlements that have the Valkyries in them. Pick up a couple of them. And then the rest are going to be the Petanian Beyonds.
You, free experience. I do love this battle map. Fortunately, I can't fight in the water. That would be nice. Invisible walls. Some of the lower tier infantry is getting killed. Not only two. <laughs> only one dying though. Good. We do want to keep all the loot again. Still. Look at that. 67 upgrades. Wait, 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 wait. No. Cancel that. Right, we don't want any of those. We do want more berserkers. Infantry. I guess archers. Yeah, give me those Valkyries. I don't actually like them, but um, yeah, having some cab on the field is better than none. Okay, the rest are we're, we're gonna take the fions. That 222. We don't actually have that much party capacity when compared to our uh, companions over there, to be honest. It's never been so easy to recruit elite units. That's a bit weird. I didn't expect the Kuzais to be this uh, weak. Yeah, they're pretty freaking weak. Uh, what's uh, was gonna be funny? I'm gonna gather up an army, get over there, and we're gonna get the clear war on by the Sturgeons or the Batanians. Probably that's what well, that's what the, what's gonna happen for sure. Let's get the go over there anyway. What's up, Sammy? How's it going? I'm gonna need. Do, do you have a, like uh, the code for the banner still? Because <laughs> I mean, it ain't bad, but it looks kind of pink. 
since I, you know, formed a faction, fraction thing, whatever the hell, and it actually worked by the, by the like end of the last ring, which was a fucking surprise. Right, do how much does it cost for? Okay, a hundred. I do want to increase? There's a couple of like things over there where they can increase our party capacity. Wanna grab those ASAP? I'm fine. Could be better. Could be worse as well. College started today, so that was an interesting first class of English. Let's just say. Out of uh, about. 15, 15 ish of us who are supposed to be there, only four came. <laughs> so that, that was freaking good. Oh, well, then again, what I expect, it's a private college. And private here is, it just means you pay to get the diploma, nothing else. Well, unless you want to learn something like I do from time to time. We're actually fighting in a snow map. Look at that. Oh, you be, haven't been here yesterday. Oh, you, you, the, the, the jukes I had to make with the armies. And sacrifices as well. Well, that was freaking something, man. Well, I was uh, trying to so survive as the rebel. Well, I somehow made it. I just killed a Valkyrie. Maybe I should have named myself Kratos, because that's what he does, right? Just goes and goes in and kills everything from anthology. C can you actually? Oh no, maybe you can't. The banner paste code. I don't think you can change specific colors in it, can you? Well, I mean, you'd have to like decipher which one's the actual like color thing, which one of the numbers is. Okay, we got a couple more bazookas. So, like, I started a rebellion with my own stuff here. I had a friend who's hold, who was holding this, this, and these three. So it was, like, really, like, all over the freaking place. And I, I was actually surprised these guys actually survived. Didn't lose anything at all. Well, except the Northern Empire took that, but nothing we can do about that. It was a pretty good with the amount of battles too over there. Especially like here. Oh, let me launch guild. I just send the code, I'm gonna copy it over. Okay, I'm online. Okay, what the hell? Is the AI ever gonna make up their mind? Actually, I could just copy the old code. Which color was it on it? Oh, there we go. Why? 
why didn't I think of that, right? Dumbass. Let's copy the old code. Right, maybe I should call these guys in as well. It's still the same, is it? What the? Yeah, this is a bit fucking weird. This is the same, is it? Grab all of these guys. I'm actually surprised the fact that these guys, these just so have so little troops on them. All oh, right, not enough influence. Right, right, that's the thing now I have to worry about. Actually, then let's just grab these three. See what we can do. Well, I guess the game doesn't really change it unless you. Well, this isn't in the base game, right? So I'm not sure how it would work if you just leave the faction. Doesn't it like switch back to your original banner? No matter what. So it would switch back to this one. If I didn't go through the modded version of the reaction faction, rebellion, secession, whatever the hell is. Where's the I need to pay attention. Where the hell is the army from here? They disbanded, right? Yeah they they did? And what was the problem here? Oh, they're fighting. Wait a minute. Why doesn't the game actually show me where they are? On the map, so I could maybe like help out. It looks like they're up there. No. All right, we have the same problem as before. We're never gonna fucking catch these guys. Let's see, speed three point seven. Yup. Well, this is gonna be fun, right? Unless he fucks up somewhere, which he probably is not. Eagle Rising got an update? No, I did not. I didn't actually check any mods yet. Uh, another, like, uh, viewer sent me, uh, or said that the, uh, there was the, the Crusader mod is out as well. Nexus mods. Eagle Rising. So we do have a like a Templar or Crusader campaign we can do as well. Imperium, the Sake. Mm. Well, the mod on Nexus mods and get an up update. What's up, hack? Ha hash? Ha hack? Uh, I don't know. You're the you're the one that actually like told us a bit, told me about the Crusader mods. Oh, it's just beta. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a look at it, as well as take a look at the Crusader mod as well. 
or Templar mod. Oh shit, where the, when the fuck did that happen? <laughs> You can only already get peace with these guys, sure. Hatch, I guess that would be. Aren't it? Oh god, boy. Eagle Rising already did it on the channel. I don't know about it. And we're gonna do it again, probably, because, you know, Rumabu and all that shit. Jackie Fish. Okay. I didn't unsubscribe from him, and uh, still, I think I'm subscribed to Resonant, because they just... I mean, most of their videos are the same fucking thing all over and over again. Why would they fight us? What? Eh. But like, like I said... I'm gonna go all the way over here, and then we're gonna de get declared war on by the Batlandians, or the Batanians, doesn't freaking matter at this point. Okay, no. It's gonna take forever to get back over there. At least we got some money out of the tribute from the Kuzites, yeah. And I do hate watching like teasers and trailers. Oh, look at this cool shit you can't play at because you're not a YouTuber with a million subscribers and all that. <laughs> oh, it's out yet? Or already? I still didn't watch uh, the entire Vikings show. I think I watched like up to season four. I need to finish it. Northern Imperial Land. What do you, what do you mean? This? Or do you mean the like one castle they have up here? It's actually Sergio now. What you mean? You mean this? On it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, because they took it from us, the bastards. But actually, uh, actually, it wasn't actually that fair. We were rebelled, and then somehow, the Sturgeons managed to piece everyone out so they can deal with me. I don't know. <laughs> because, of course, I need to get over there before a big fuck off army comes over here and takes everything. That's their colony. It's not their colony. I mean, there's no colonies in this. They can just take land. This and this here. They took it from the Sturgeon faction. Right. Right. Freya is with us. Only has one troop still. Surgeons, no. <laughs> Even the snow is against them. But I'm not actually sure how it's actually pronounced. Surgeon? Surgeon? Eh, Nordic, fuck it. The, the, the way the trees pop in as well. Look at, look at this shit. I mean, surely if you like put the graphics settings up higher, the popping shouldn't be this bad, right? Let's go get. Uh, only like problem is with like fighting Wallandians. What do I actually take? The snow will rebel soon. <laughs> uh, like, what do I actually take from them? That's gonna be. 
Like I could actually like hold because if the Batan is declared war, this was gonna be this is gonna be taken immediately. I guess I could take their lives. That should work. Same as the nose from Warwan. Yeah, pretty much. Well, this literally the mod literally just makes the uh, Surgeon's Nords. I mean Sergia is Norse. Best name. We won't take their land, but we're gonna take their lives. Why should we be sieging that with 200 troops? Only 200 troops? Kalos Castle? Sure, maybe. Not the best of choices. Lives and wives. Right? Who, the, who are the Batanians for, though? Okay, there. I will be. That's enough influence. Now, getting one of the factions to like me to actually form an alliance would be interesting. But, uh. I mean, I think I would like have to like play a campaign from the beginning where I would like just let everybody I captured go for that to work out. Like I can't think of any other way. Hey you, come here. I do wish they actually fix, fix sieges so I don't actually like need to besiege the whole fucking city down every freaking time. It takes so long. Then and as well gives them time to like come up behind my back. Look, Freya actually was able to take a, a castle over there with 200 troops. Maybe she is the real Strategos, not me. And now, now we're bleeding money. Because I gave up all my land. Good night, Selnik. Good luck at school tomorrow as well. Sturgeon is no on it, so it's it's a rifle to uh, right. We have a Cassus Belli, right? It has snow on it. Sturgeon snow. Northman snow. So it's ours. Uh I don't wanna hold that. Let's give it in one of these guys. Which one though? Okay, so this guy has flintlock, so it's kind of closer to him. Oh shit. <laughs> you just bombed them to hell. There's them right. Look at the Valandians getting mosh pitted down. Look at that. Ezra, Batanians, and me. We I actually didn't check the name. We're the Empire of bu 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 Bullion. We're, we're the bullies. <laughs> what? <laughs> We're the, we're the Boolean Empire. We're the bu Bully Empire. Oh yeah, the AI is definitely make some stupid decisions. Like, um, I can't show you on the map now, but uh, I was like besieging a settlement and I was able to like stop the siege run away because there was an army of a thousand and an army of like 500 coming at me. So I... Uh, 
somehow managed to run away, sacrifice the Lord out of the army to them, you know, to run away. Then turned around, fought that like big army, wrecked them, then destroyed the smaller one as well and took the city. And that's how the war or the rebellion ended. I actually pissed out with the war exhaustion on, on the surgeons. I guess you could also bridge the walls, then retreat, then attack again, so and back and so on and so forth. So your archers get the infinite ammo that way. Yeah, like, like I used to do, do you in Warband. It's constantly retreat. Their crusade is a fail. <laughs> Just constantly like go back in and attack. Till we Where the hell do I have right. I wanted to tournament. Pay Monday. Oh, it's this one again. Right. Pay Monday to the bully. They are fucked indeed. Okay, so if I remember correctly, last time I went through here, ran into a bunch of watchers, ran this way, and ran into another bunch of watchers. So let's not do that this time. Empire of Bullens. <laughs> what a fucking name, man. Could you not? Barricades are screwing me over more than the enemy at this point. Money, not Monday. <laughs> and they're paying money to their bullies. We're bullying, bullying their. Uh, we're taking their lunch money. The Nordic Calorific Rebellion. Hmm, maybe I should have like played the campaign, so we can actually get the quest with the banner and all that. See how that works out. I guess that's gonna be for the next one. One hit from the axe is not. Ooh, headshot. I don't know, I was thinking of changing the name, but the Empire of Bullion. Bullion? It's fitting, I guess. We could change the name, but. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it really matters, to be honest. Or, well, it doesn't matter that much. <laughs> but the, still, the Empire of Bullion. Bullion. I think that takes the cake, just because I didn't actually change it to that. Whoa. Is the mod that unites the empire? Uh, what, just the, the whole empire is one faction? 
Wouldn't that make him uh, a little bit too overpowered? What the f... Yeah, what the hell... What are they waiting for? I mean, if the Empire is one, that uh, that may maybe make the, uh, would make him a little bit too too good. Well, they can get armies uh, around two thousand troops easily, even without that. Well, at least of what I've seen. Fuck the, f the fuck. What the fuck? What? They kill him, then go over there. Then again, uh, I guess uh, the armies of 2000 men uh, were when I was in the faction, right? Oh, yeah, that would be a problem because uh, challenge accepted. <laughs> uh, I guess the problem there would be uh, because the empire would, would be so huge, like all over the place. Uh, they would be like not stretched in, they would have enough armies and all that, but like uh, the AI is too stupid for that, you know? Won't see their life, their wife, their reefs. Their reefs and their kids. Look at that. Bushwhacker. I'll see whenever I see a bushwhacker, I think of the. Apparently, I didn't lose anyone. Alright, let's take these for the garrison. Let's keep all the loot still. Alright, uh, see the bushwhacker. I always think of the. Yeah, let's show him a uh, show uh, mercy so he doesn't rebel instantly. Uh, I think of the character from Marvel, right? P Punisher is Marvel. Yes. D D Dranger? Dranger? Let's leave that guy. What can I leave that time? Uh, the, the pagan bandits. Where are the where are the the ones that actually? T okay, yeah, these guys. Well, one of them. Valkyries. Let's leave on a couple of watchers. I don't need that many. P again. Hayden's, yeah, pagans, Hayden's. Or no, heathens. Excuse me. The snow covers half the map, right? I'm actually gonna be fucking surprised if she manages to take that. And not get, doesn't get killed in the process. Party speed, mounted troops, prisoners. 800. I wonder where that's going. There is a new mod. You mean the Crusader one? Oh, look at that. Well, hello there. You up for a fight? Lots of stuff to the game. 
Well, the, I mean, these, these, this is still pretty early on, like I usually say. Vassal of the Empire of Bullion. He, he only has one castle. What? Because if I give... Why is this so fucking stupid? I use influence for that. 353 BC? Uh, so what, like early Rome, Rake period? The, or Greek period? Alexander the Great and all that? Well, I actually can't remember the time period for that. And I feel fucking stupid at this point. Right, they do wanna. Let's see, clans. Let's give, let's give it to this guy anyway. Byzantines. Byzantines in 353 BCE before Christ. You sure about that? Wait a minute. They're going all the way over there. We need to catch up. Go faster, horses. Come on. Remind they switched, switched where they're going. Oh, nice. Might be able to catch them. Ash, catch them all. Pretty sure Byzantine is running around. Though at least the... What was it? Fifth century? No, 6th century AD. Well, not even then. That was the Western Roman Empire. Or, never mind, the Eastern Roman Empire. Okay, they already took that. Okay, let's see. Okay, still, that's gonna cost me. So I'm gonna need to manually, like, give out the, f the thieves. Unfortunately, I mean, even though they're probably going to lose them. I mean, there's no way they're going to hold that. No freaking way. Are you the king? No, you're not. Is the king with you? No, he's not. I am gonna, however, like, let him go after the battle. See if I can actually get, like, a alliance or something at some point. This is pretty fucking open and perfect for their archers. Oh, not archers, crossbowmen. Why is this one always l like that? Jeez. Yeah, hopefully they're not going to be rushing for this seal. Uh, right. They're just going to sit back because they have the crossbow one. Two, so that's the snowy hill you're gonna die on. Fine with that. Let's see, where am I gonna plump my infantry though? Or my archers to be exact. Lasso, calm down. 
don't need them bugging out. I should want to spar, maybe. I do need to keep the cab alive. We're gonna need to flank their crossbow, man, that's for sure. Unless they just want to keep moving around like a bunch of fools. That works for me. Or they're just gonna hide behind the hill, apparently. Like a bunch of wusses. Why are the fucking... Why are the fucking lines like that? So shit. I just wanna charge my archers. Fuck off. Apparently they said they decided they're gonna like hide behind the hill. Or they haven't decided yet. They're just moving around. They do love how they move in the shield wall and everything. Yeah, okay, like leaving the archers like wide open is not the best of ideas, but um, not much I can do here. Do need to run over their crossbow and somehow. to do fuck all here because they're oh no 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 nope don't want to get stuck on rocks and die again yeah that's what is gonna happen <laughs> Yeah, the infantry seems to have a good day. Where the hell are the archers going? The really, yeah, is gonna win this easily enough. Unless they turn around and get shot by sh the sharpshooters. But look. I don't know what, what the Wallandians do with their sharpshooters. They just keep moving them around like fucking morons. It's not like they can move and shoot. Reload for that matter. 